Do you guys understand that I didn't cross the line the whole time? Maybe, except for when I said QED and did a mean face. But, like, literally, I didn't cross the line. Okay. So we're going to try one question here. Oh, um, Gustavo and Carly, you're the ones who came up with the parts of the proof that finished it. Um, I don't have any prizes out. What would you like? I'll give you goose. anything you like. You can have a goose. What would you like, Carly? You know what I have. I have lots of weird things. <laughs> um, here is some flesh colored play doh. Enjoy. And <laughs> I think I have one goose left just for this kind of occasion. That's a duck. That'd be stupid. That would be stupid. There you go, buddy. Feel free to burn it. All right. Uh, we're going to do one more problem. And this one I'm going to ask uh, you and your partner to come up here and show us how to do it. Um, and both people will get to choose whatever prize they want to out of the prizes I've had. Uh, it's a big prize, so get ready. Here we go. <laughs> All right. Let's do this. Example, I don't know, one? I don't think I've done any examples yet, have I? We've just proven stuff? Yeah. Hey, everybody, I don't remember, we all have that, right? Okay, mm -hmm. so here's my big hint. We're going to use a formula, and it's one of these. Okay? All right, here we go. Uh, I'm going to tell you that tangent of theta is four-thirds and theta is in quadrant three and I want you to find the other five okay now it's gonna be a big mystery we have tangent which one would we possibly use we whoa whoa Ryan Who's to say, all right? Maybe you want to use the one with cotangent in it. I don't know, but maybe you should use the one that says tangent. So you know what tangent is, and that should help you find secant pretty fast, and then you got to find the other ones. So go for it. Talk to your partner. <laughs> If you're both stuck, call me over. Well, that's the nine, sorry. That's the one. That's, that's the nine over nine. Yeah, and remember, so, square the four thirds, common denominators. What? Yes. Or if you take secant and flip it, you get cosine. Yes. Yeah, I tried to. So I just said 
four thirds of the way along of our head. Because well, we know that's the space that's required. Wait, no, that's the gift side. Yeah, I'm are you asking me about a part of it or are you asking me about all of it because I'm still doing it right now so if you want to check your answers give me a second if you flip so you can't you get cosine yes Because all of these are ending up doing a square root at one point, right? So normally you put a plus or minus on there, but you should realize that in quadrant three, all the x's, which means cosine and secant will be negative, and all the y's, which is sine and cosecant will be negative, but then if you take a negative divided by a negative, you get a positive, so tangent and cotangent will be positive. Okay. So the quadrant thing only tells you what's positive and negative. So I saw that it was in the So I see it's 10. 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 So it has 36 to be 23, but it wouldn't be fair to say, yeah, so I'm 2 and 1. That's a ratio, it's not our actual. So you would start with 10 squared plus 1. Yeah, and those all back to the ratio that you probably have to have a positive dose. That also means, uh, so we have an angle in the fourth area. Yeah, so that four to three ratio is correct between y and x. That's not, that's right, but it doesn't tell you what y and x was. If you're getting stuck, call me over. Secant is negative five thirds to the right. Yeah. Now, to find cosine, cosine is just one over 
So you can't do this in verses. So if you just flip it, you got close up. Secant is 1 over cosine, which is the same thing as flipping it. So you can just write that next to this one. Cosine is negative 3 fifths. Same thing with tangent. That's what we said. So if I took... So let's say I did this. Say I did... 1 divided by negative 3 fifths, okay? That would be 1 over 1 divided by negative 3 fifths, right? Or 1 over 1 times negative 5 thirds, which is negative 5 thirds. So it's always going to just end up flipping the fractions. So if you have tangent, then you have cotangent because you can just flip it. And if you have, you guys had what? Secant? So you can just flip it to find cosine. And now that you've got cosine or secant and tangent or cotangent, use one of the other formulas to find one of the other two. So you could use cosine squared plus sine squared equals 1. I'll read that. Yeah. Yeah, right here. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. <laughs> so because 